up for sale. I have a 1966 Lincoln Continental convertible, finished in red with red interior, black convertible top. 462 cubic inch motor, which was the big motor for the year. <clears throat> Factory automatic trans. I'm going to walk around it, tell you more about the car, show you some of the flaws, fire it up, and then drive it. So if you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Like I said, a 66 Lincoln Continental convertible. I've had the pleasure of owning two previously, a 63 and a 65. So now attacking a third one on my list is very something I take a lot of pride in. A lot of these cars are very unique, very hard to come by, and um, beautiful, to say the least. Um, factory Lincoln hubcaps with the little white, white line, white wall, however you want to say it. Rather nice chrome bumper in the front. A uh, couple little marks right there. And another one right there, but other than that, the chrome bumper on the front is in very nice condition. Um, let me tell you a little bit of the history about the car. I'll point out some things as I see them, though. Um, I have 60000 in receipts for the car, mechanically, etc., uh, dating from the early 2000s till now, and probably a little bit before. Copies of many of the original titles. And um, it's a three-owner, documented. I have the original plates, the Protecto plate. Um, a lot of ownership history on the car. Tons, tons. There's a picture of it. I'll pop it up now. Just to show you how much paperwork I have for it. Um, I do not get a lot of cars that are this highly documented. So seeing a lot of paperwork, especially on a Lincoln Continental, is a pretty, was pretty exciting for me. Um, all the trim is very nice throughout. The top is in very nice condition and does work. I will show you a video of it going up and down. Excuse me, glass back window. Um, another little mark right there. And then a couple chips here must have rubbed at some point and they realigned it and touched them up. All the glass in the car is in very nice condition. The windows do work as they're supposed to. Nice door panels. Very nice condition dash as well. Looks to be mostly original. Carpet's in good condition. It's got that darker red tone to it, as you see over there. Um, and again, with the back window. It does work as it's supposed to. There you go. But the seats in general are in very, very nice condition. There's no rips, no tears on it at all. Um, and the inside of the top, that framework is painted black and in very nice condition. As I said, the top does work. The trunk compartment is in very nice condition. We have the, a spare and the original jack set up the way it should be. There are no rust bubbles anywhere on the car. The key this operates to, it'll allow it to open it up. We do have the key for that, so that does work. Here we go, we just got a little bit of the sun out, so you can see the uh, nice rear deck painted. Very interesting, the exhaust tips go straight down, which I think is very cool. I have not seen that on a Lincoln before. And uh, the rear bumper is very nice condition. There looks to be like a little ripple right there and a bubble in it. And other than that, very, very nice. Um, there's a little bubble right there on the paint and another one right there. Not a rust bubble, just a bubble in the paint. Um, a little bubble right there. A little raised paint here, right in this area. Um, hardly noticeable. I don't even know if you can see it. No rust bubbles anywhere on the car. Again, I said, like I said, nothing there. Very straight body.
There you go. Like I said, it's a 66 Lincoln Continental convertible, red, red, with the black top. Now, if it was me, I think this would be sweet with a red top, but I'll take a black top. I'll take a black top. It doesn't look bad. It looks very nice. Loads of paperwork, 462 cubic inch. Leather interior, all the power options. Should close that one first. It will be for sale later today on eBay and my website nextgenclassiccars.com both links will be in the description of the video you can click on them check them out see if you're interested if you are let me know little chip right there um, it's a very nice quality documented three owner red red I haven't seen a red red one yet the two I own was black tan and blue blue so having a red red is a nice little change up to it and as I'm noticing there looks to be a couple Marks that were touched up right there, another mark that was touched up, and then a couple little marks right there, like a, like something brushed on it. But here it is, this is the uh, 66 Lincoln Continental Convertible. We're going to fire it up now. Three owner, all the goodies, I showed the documentation that I have. Um, please let me know if you're interested, thank you. Here we go, here's that 462. All the options, a beautifully detailed engine compartment. We're gonna fire it up in just a second, show you real quick the uh, quality of the build and all the receipts that were spent on the car. Very smooth running. There is that rather clean engine compartment, or trunk compartment, excuse me, that I was talking about. The jack is under there. Just gonna show you the cycle here, showing you that it does work and all. Very intricate, very impressive that they were able to do this in 1966. And years before, because I know they did that well before. Some of the re retractables. Didn't even close the door. 